Hello, everybody, and welcome to Game Bros. Uh, my name is Jonathan, and normally I'm joined by my brother Steven, but today I just wanted to try something new and just try to play Control by myself. This is a game I have played before, um, but I really enjoyed it, so I'd like to try it again. If you're new here and you don't know who the Game Bros are, like I said, it's my brother Steven and myself. My name is Jonathan, and uh, we're Christians, so we, we do our best to glorify God through our commentary. And, you know, we talk about the Bible and Scripture and, and pray before several episodes. And our whole goal is we want to glorify Christ. And if that intrigues you, then be sure to subscribe. And hey, like this video if uh, you enjoyed it. But let's go ahead and get started in control. This is going to be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that... I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like... We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room and the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, uh, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes, something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? <laughs> uh -huh. That's a cool, a cool opening. I wonder if I can go outside. I don't think I can. Yeah, I'm stuck. I cannot leave. I'm curious to see, because I've played this before, what I'll pick up, if anything. You know, I'm like, oh man, I didn't see that the first time around. Let's see. What are all my, okay, yeah, that's Sprint. Trying to remember all the buttons. I don't have a gun yet or any anything. Okay. First step is to please wait here. So, whoops. I'm sorry, who, who whoever you know was here, but you know I'll wait. And uh, I want to be, you know, I want to I want to be a, a good good person. Two hours later. Okay. Well, nobody's ever nobody's come. So um, let me just walk. I'm gonna do this myself. I'm gonna. Walk through the metal detector, and somebody is supposed to take my keys or something. Somebody's bag is... Ooh, hey, what is this? Let's read this. Certain objects are not allowed inside the bureau. Recent in incidents have necessitated an issued reminder on prohibited materials. Unauthorized weapons, obviously. Pagers, laptops, smartwatches, smartphones, smart gaming devices, anything smart. And number two pencils, for some reason. Any objects considered iconic representations of an archetypal 
a concept. Rubber ducks. Huh. All material under bureau investigation is to be brought in through the private entrances. If you see any lobby personnel in breach of these policies, please notify your supervisor immediately. I don't know why I said it that way, but I'm going to be finding probably quite a lot of uh, documents. I'll open them up and you can kind of pause if you want to read them. If, if they give good flavor or textual or not, not textual, but story stuff, I might read them and then kind of summarize. That door just kind of opens. Did it just open on its, on its own? When I get far enough away, I could have sworn it just opened. Oh, well, whatever. All right, up the stairs. Let's see. Yeah, there's nobody here, which is very ominous. And yeah, see, that door definitely opened. Maybe they just, maybe, I don't know. Maybe they just made that way. Okay, let's see. There's another document. Uh, leave it on camera or on screen. If you want to read that, you can pause the video. This seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. That seal? It's the Federal Bureau of Control seal. He head of research, Dr. Casper Darling. That's a very weird... Our Bureau at Work. That's a weird picture. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. It is very strange that there's absolutely nobody here. Where is everybody? Oh. I think I hear some singing. Hello? Oh, hey. There's a person here. Finally! See anything in this room I can interact with or pick up? No? Okay. Mr. Janitor, you're famous. You're on a picture. Excuse me. This guy is kind of there creepy. You are. You are about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm off the janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, later you are no relevant. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna, you hold. I've done enough night shift loaner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. Did he like hear my thoughts and respond to it or something? That was really weird. How are you supposed to get inside this room? I don't see a door. There is not a door into this room. Okay. Whatever. Oh yeah, and it kind of like loops. Hi, I'm back at the entrance. I do remember this. This is, this was so weird. Yeah, like, oh my gosh, this was weird. It's the same, same kind of place, but I've just made a loop sort of somehow. See, is there anything new downstairs? Nothing too important. There was just a document in there that, teaching the people how to talk to unscheduled visitors. I thought it was interesting though on this paper, it says, you know, whether than like the, oh, we were established in this time and this time. If the people, the visitors don't just leave, it says you ask these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York City or just visiting? How did you find this place? If their answers are harmless, then okay, they can go. But if their answers seem and it's redacted, it says escort them to a private room there perform the gunner's psychological assessment. If their responses are within the acceptable range of deviance, see the provided scoring sheet, then something immediately. <laughs> That's really weird. Okay, into the elevator. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help?
Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. So, I don't know if you saw it, but whenever she said, are you still with me in that, like, ring around the screen came up. <clears throat> and I don't think it's, it's too important to tell you guys. That's like I, some sort of entity that's a part of Jesse, and it kind of helps her in different ways. Um, it, yeah, that's about as much as I can say. I, I don't know even myself like too, too much about it. Can I go in this door? I cannot. I do not have clearance. But I'm pretty sure I get that pretty soon. Because I'm going to be the janitor's assistant. And the janitor's assistant should be able to go anywhere, pretty much. You know, to clean the trash cans. and So here's, an art, here, here's a letter from Trench, who I think is the director. It says, I'm not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the day. For the rest of the week, I can't trust them, Barbara. Not a single one. So it sounded like he's either going a little... What the heck? Oh, that's right. The director. Either he was going crazy or something else. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Forgot to say, there will probably be language in this game. The murder weapon? See how really? it's kind of like pointing me at the at the gun. A little wibbly wibbly. So it's kind of, yeah, it's, it's guiding me. So I pick this up. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this is like a little tutorial showing you how to use my new abilities. So every once in a while I'll come here when I get something. So the gun that I wield... Like, I'm not pulling it out. Oh, okay, they want me to melee. Whatever this thing is. Can I get that blue stuff or? Oh, maybe that's health. I did play this, but it's been a while, so. Okay, now what? The same gun. Oh. Here we go. Got a new weapon. And I think it recharged. Yeah, I don't reload or anything. Yeah, it regenerates automatic uh, ammunition automatically. Oh, wow. I don't think I've noticed that before. That's huge. I don't. Is that the board? Is that like. Ah, there's so many things in this game I do not. Still do not understand. Something's coming. This threat. An attack. Duty as director. Keep the bureau safe. 
hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. Happy to be here. Okay, guys, that is the end of the first outside. episode of Control. I'm going to do another, go. maybe two more episodes of Control. And guys, let me know in the comments by and by liking this video. Let me know if you want me to continue. If uh, you guys want me to, then I can make this a full playthrough because I really enjoyed this game. But thank you all for watching. If you are new here and you enjoyed this and you want to see some more, then be sure to subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode. Have a wonderful day, everybody, and be blessed.